Well, I made it very late last night, about 10.30, into Milford Haven, and I'm on a pontoon at Dale Point, Dale um, Harbour. And it was uh, a very, very long passage, about 17 hours, and I had tied against me a lot of the way, so it took me quite a bit of time, but I made it into the... Uh, haven and uh, onto this pontoon quite safely. So, as I say, it was pitch black last night when I came in, but it's, the harbour is all very well lit, so I managed to pick out the necessary lights and find my way to this pontoon. And, uh, yes, yeah, so I had a very peaceful night. Well, it's just after two on day 87, Wednesday 30th of August, and I've just left the pontoon that I stayed on overnight, and I'm heading up to Nayland Marina um, to refuel and stay there the night. So it's about seven or eight miles upriver from the entrance to, the, uh, to Milford Haven. So behind me is Dale, and Dale Bay where I stayed last night. It's a peaceful night, very quiet, and that's the uh, hills and cliffs on the north side of Milford Haven. It's a very big harbour, very busy with lots of huge boats and tankers, so I'm going to carefully wind my way up, up the river making sure I avoid all the big traffic. So I'm going up um, the harbour in Milford Haven and it reminds me very much of like going up Southampton Water. There's ferries passing and lots of uh, terminals on both sides of the river. So yeah, it's about another uh, four or five miles upstream to the marina. It's half past three and I'm just coming into Nayland Marina. There's a bridge ahead of me and the marina's there on the left. And that's looking back down the river, down towards Milford Haven. Just going to tie up on the fuel berth first and fill up with fuel and then get onto the pontoon for the uh, rest of the day and the night.